Hi, I'm Tamara Haynes with the American Quilter Society, and I am honored to be here with Colette Dumont. She has entered Fleur de Glace. Yes, Fleur de Glace. Fleur de Glace, <laughs> this amazing quilt in the large quilts embellished category here at Fall Paducah, sponsored by Horn of America. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you. This is just one of the most amazing quilts I have ever seen. And we have so much detail that we want to get into to show you what inspired you to create this. At first, it was a sketch, okay. pencil sketch. Mm -hmm. uh, can be anything. Mm -hmm. After that, I scanned my design. Mm -hmm. I put that on a scanner, mm -hmm. and I tried to make a kaleidoscope with a portion of the sketch. Okay. So if the flower, if something, the design look well, mm -hmm. I represent on the quilt. So that's okay. what it happened. Okay. Uh, it was a, only a sketch at before and then six part kaleidoscope okay. and it was done. So after that, I just had to make something, make colors, make the, improve it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you told me a story about the ice flower. Okay. So I want to hear about, we, we all want to hear about this. <laughs> okay. Ice flower in French, it's fleur de glace. Okay. It's a flower that forms overnight in the where it's very cold. Okay. It has to be a specific temperature. Okay. It forms on the, on the ground overnight. It's crystals that grows okay. and in the morning it melts. It's finished. Wow. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the elements. Let's start here and tell us about the process. This is all piece okay. joined by a bias in the fabric called lamé. It's stripped in the bias that yes. put in, that in the folder with glues okay glue on there right. and after that we have to eat it uh -huh. so it forms the the, the joining so, part okay and then you stitch on each side stitching on each side okay and like here it's one part with the embroidery software okay. it's not embroidery that you can buy it's mm -hmm. really made from scratch from okay. nothing okay uh, you design it yes okay yes. and we I just add to form six of them okay and all of them is formed the same way the the beadwork is okay. incredible i have never seen anything like this so talk to me about this is this. a it's kind of a jewelry making with okay. small sure. beads sure some beads are so small i need my glasses and the magnifier to to work with it right <laughs> and, and you all by hand all, all by, by hand. hand okay but i also want to talk about the snowflakes yeah. here. It's made the same way with okay. the beads, the okay. seed beads, Swarovski crystal, okay. all made and, by, and beaded and, and after mm -hmm. that applied to the quilt. And so we can see this is an actual cutout. Yes. It's like a spider web. Oh yes. It's uh, instead of the thread of the spider, it's bead. <laughs> yes. Yes. And so the bigger element, yes. you even encased that large Swarovski crystal. Yes. You made a casing for it. Yes. Out of the hand beads. Yes. Now while we're back here, I also notice the bobbin threads that stand out to create these different patterns on the background. So tell us about this. I wanted to just um, make um, pop up the mm -hmm. snowflakes. So I took white thread. Mm -hmm. You'll see a on the, in the front after, mm -hmm. white thread for the crisp, for the snowflakes, mm -hmm. and after that, blue thread, to, it doesn't show so much, so the white thread pops mm -hmm. up, so we can see the, the, the snowflakes. And here. then you have this yes. beautiful teal blue, yes. the accents here, yes. and then you still kept the dark thread yes. here. Yes. And let's talk about this border. How many beads went into this? About 30,000. It's amazing. One by one. One by one. <laughs> yes. All by hand. All by hand. And so this border here. So tell us, you didn't like crochet the beads. No, no? it's all okay. needle, need, needlework. Okay. Small, fine needle is pressed for beading. Well, Colette, thank you so much for spending time with us today thank and you. sharing this beautiful work of art. And I hope to see you at the next Quilt Week. <laughs>